Okay, welcome everybody to my Diablo 3 Hardcore version PS4. Okay, for this guide, I'm gonna teach you, um, I'm gonna show you, okay, how to do a Demon Hunter. Let's say if you're Paragon 1, what are the things to do and everything, okay? So, whatever you do, okay, you reach 70 and you're Paragon 1. Do Tormen 1. I know it's uh, pretty hard, you know, but start at Tormen 1, you know, learn from there. You know, if you do lower than that, because Tormund 1 gives you the sets, okay? The main thing about ping, okay, there's a lot of farming going on. And this is the, most of the time, the stage you are going to be in, Tormund 1, okay? Your main priority is get your sets first. What sets you want, I do not know. If you want a M6 Marauder, you want a Net 6, N6, you know, Ninja, whatever, okay? That is the main thing, but you do not have it. You know, because you just you are just a paragon one. So, how do we do right now? You um, um, you know, you are pretty handicapped, skills wise and everything. Go freestyle, guys. Trust me. If you go freestyles, whatever is good. Just, just I'm not gonna talk about skills and everything because whatever suits you, go ahead. Because, okay, let's admit it. Your items are crap and you're not on legends and everything. So, you know, go freestyle your skills and. The main thing that I want to highlight, it's always start bounties, you know, whatever you do, whatever, you do, no G-Reefs, no Reefs, no nothing, you're, you're in Tormund 1, okay, and do only Act 1, because the first thing, finish all your bounties and rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat your Act 1 bounties, okay, so for, what am I going to do, okay, just imagine you're Paragon 1, okay, so, Hopefully you can find some legends, you know. There's a reason why you start bounties first, you know. There will be a time when you will come up to a stage like a veteran's uh, demon hunter, okay? So for this, common one, the reason why I strongly advise you to do only act one, okay, remember, common one, because you are just paragon one, okay? Get your paragons up. Get your paragons up. Do the act one bounties, you know, because what you need is mats, you know, get all the mats, you know, you know, if it's hard, you know, but you have to stay in uh, common one, because we have to make farming vision, okay, okay, so, as I say, it's because you have nothing, you are not even set or anything, you are pretty weak, so do act one, rinse and repeat, and hopefully, uh, at least you got, you know, aim for the ring of royal, uh, grandal ring, you know, you know, that's the reason, okay? And then sometimes you have a chest, open it, hopefully you drop legends and everything. The main focus right now, okay, is to get... Okay, let's say you want to do an M6, okay? Uh, this is what I'm doing, okay? The M6 Marauder build. So, go piece by piece. If there are six piece, right? If you farm the Ring of Royal Grandal, okay? So, you can have five piece. Five piece equip your Ring of Royal Grandal, and then you can have six, okay? I'm gonna edit this, okay? Just imagine, you know, we are already doing all of the bounties, okay? Okay, just just imagine, okay, guys, we are in doing the bounties. So, why I highly recommend do the bounties act one only. So, we get the Ring of Royal Gondel. And then, if there's weapons, good for us. Legends or whatever. Because the main thing is, while we are doing bounties, right? When we finish, we have mats. So you can upgrade your legendary gems, you know, you know the mats to upgrade your not legendary gems, sorry, the the gems, the how how would I say the the purple gem. We need the green gem, the the dex, okay, because our demon hunter focus a lot on dex, dexterity, and resistant for higher end, okay. You you will be in high end. That's why we, uh, collect all the mats, uh, farm your legends, okay. Because the main thing is get to M6, at least get a two piece. You know. Don't worry if it's ancient or not, don't worry about it. Just get the minimum, you know, Marauder. So if we get um, two piece of it, then equip it, you know, and then go for the uh, then we go for four piece. If you have the Ring of Royal Grandal, good for you. You just need the fifth piece and you have to complete it, you know. That is the progression, you know, the first thing. That's why I say skills do not bother. Because if I were to tell you, okay, you need sentry, but come on, you can't, you know, sentry won't help you. It's because you are not a, a marauder set, you know, or if you're doing a net set. So why the hell do you need a sentry for? You know, that's the reason why I say go 
you know, go freelance, you know, understand all of the Demon Hunter, uh, Demon Hunter skills and equip. So, okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is important because if you were to do this, you know, if you were to do this grind, trust me, when you get your M6 legitly, you know, I mean, you work hard for it and, and, and you build up your Demon Hunter, you will be a strong Demon Hunter, I tell you. It, if I were to give you well the M6 done. right now, you know, you someone will just throw you all the M6, I guarantee you, the basics and foundation of a Demon Hunter, you will never understand. Okay, see, the horrible crash it. So farm, because you need a lot of parts, you know. So, whatever it is, um, all those yellow you do not need, just farm. And then when you got all the mats, right? Because I, I, I already have all the mats, so there should be a lot of mats, you know. So just get all your parts from Hedrick, you know, Hedrick, um, Hedrick is gonna give you maybe Sage, Sage Passage and everything, so, you know, farm, don't worry about gold, trust me, don't worry about gold, don't sell them, for me, at the beginning stage, you know, savage them, you need a lot of parts, okay, especially, you're starting up beginning, you know, I, I played this long, okay, <laughs> so, you know, unless you wanna go to dupe, okay, of course, if you're duping, then, you know, your choice, your choice, your game, your choice, and everything, okay? So, once, okay, you have finished the bounties, that's what you did, okay? Rinse and repeat. Quit the game, start at one again, you know? Slowly progress and try and get your whatever sets you want, let's say. So, let's assume we are doing M6, you know? So, I say quit the game, okay, then rinse and repeat, you know, at one bounties. So, right now, you have to know, okay, as I say, we are aiming for... If you are aiming for Marauders, so two sets, as I said, if let's say if you got the two sets, equip it, Ancients or not, so be it. So once you got the two sets, then straight away, you see, every set item is different. So two sets, okay, I straight away equip my Companion, you know, because all, you just need one Companion and all our Companion. So if three set, or let's say if you got the fourth set, you got four sets of the Marauder, then you start to equip Sentries, you know, so progress along, progress along whatever you need okay so right now and then uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit because along the way you would get you know you need to get the Kanaya cube okay to do this so just um, throw everything inside as I say even if you want to you know if you want to have the COE ring you need parts that's why I say bounties you know we have to go back to square one as I say that's why I say keep doing your bounties, you know, then slowly upgrade. Um, right now, and then when you are okay, uh, this is still T1, okay? This is still Tormund 1, okay? So start a G-Reef and start to farm your keys now, you know? Although you are weak, but it's okay, you know? Then from there, you just start a G-Reef, collect your keys. But don't start a greater reef. A G-Reef is greater reef, okay? Don't start. Don't start. Just farm your keys. So along the way, fine. We, we were found the parts and then we farm the keys but don't go there yet you know don't do the GVs yet okay so and hopefully you can have maybe like um, two marauder three marauder or legends and if your legend sucks okay don't worry because as long as you're doing bounties you will always Hedrick will always give you um, you can get your mats and everything you know the mats and everything so get yourself like maybe um, you know cane set King set level 70, you know, just, just get them, you know, so let's say, okay, I addict this part also, you know, so let's say, you need to do the g reef completed, so what, you know, progress along like that, try and progress slowly, it's okay, that's why I say, this is, there's a lot of farming going on, guys, I, I can promise you that, you know, but that's, that's how you want to play Diablo, you know, but if you want to get way out, you know, dupe and everything, go and go. You know, but this is a uh, legit kind of uh, flame, you know. And then you see, okay, this is just common one, you can see, okay, common one, okay, hold on, okay, there, see, common one. Okay, the G Reef key, right? Tormans works like that, the greater Reef key. Sometimes you might get it, sometimes you might not get it. The percentage, I'm not sure, but slowly progress along it. Right now, we are doing common one. It, it felt that, you know, Act 1, it's... Um, you know it's getting easy and easy because of your items and paragon levels okay okay uh go ahead and do act two act three act four bounties mm -hmm. or if you want do tormon two tormon three start from there you know progress yourself up 
you know progress yourself up for weapon parts i really hope you know you can get more morale because the end thing you need to do is get your sets parts okay get it get the minimum six complete it so you I, I can tell you once you complete it your you can start a lot you know a lot of stuff once a decent you know even the worst m6 the worst marauder m6 sets okay you can easily you know you can easily do common six that easy you know i'm talking about the worst and of course if you want to know a little bit about marauder i will do a video just a marauder build you know so you can see what are the skills, you know, and everything. And that's it. Savage, 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 savage. You need all the parts, okay? You need all the parts. As I say, if now you want nets, okay? If let's say if you want to go for nets, uh, store them up, store them up, because you never know. Uh, maybe the next build, when you're bought with Marauder, uh, you know, if you're bought with Marauder, you can pick up um, the missing parts since you already have a net, you know. That is how you progress, you know. Okay, so right now, if let's say, if you know, with all this thing, you are progressing already. Okay, so what you're lacking right now to grow even another stage is to do, you know, GVs, you know. So get all your basics and everything. Okay, first thing first, I'll talk about the reforge, you know, the upgrade rare. But look at the parts. You look, this is pretty crazy for you right now because you are low, but I strongly do not recommend. But unless you are farming like crazy, you know, you are you already have a lot of parts and you're farming forever, you cannot get the parts, so you re upgrade this. Or maybe you're just on the last piece of the Marauder and you felt you have a lot of parts. Veil Crystal is you know, is the one that will deplete a lot. You know, that's why it says parts. And then second thing you can do is Kadala. You know. Right now Blood Shards is you will earn like like crap okay your blood shots not like. another way it's always do this okay let's say if you are missing on the boots or the you know the pants you know so just you know just gamble with her okay if that says you know up, if you are you know once you are comfortable do two or three you know don't progress to common six okay only touch common six you know and progress onwards if you have the full marauder okay the full m6 or your full set or what okay if you know so slowly go to tom and two then try out there you know then if you think it's still okay do tom and three and you always remember the basics once you start tom and two do act one bounties see for yourself you know how does it looks like oh okay it's good then try the risk you know see how does it looks like you know and then, you know, everything is farming, 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 farming in Diablo 3, you know. So, right now, okay, so since you are doing this, I'll teach you how to do the legendary gems and G reefs, okay. When you start a G reef, okay, remember, you have zero, okay. You don't even have any legendary gems. So, what do you do? I know you can do easily level 10 since you are now in Tormund, um, Tormund 2, right, or Tormund 3. But, you know, correct, Tommen 2, Tommen 3, you know, or Tommen 1, you can easily do 11, 10, you know, but don't do that, you know, I don't recommend, you know, you can do a Tommen 3 also, right now since you're in Tommen 3, but don't, when you start a G Reef, don't bother, okay, I strongly recommend, you know, the first time you start is to get your legendary gems, is to start level 1, why? Complete it is a 100% drop of a legendary gem, that's the reason, so, do level 1 till you get all of your legendary gems, okay? Do level 1. Keep doing, keep doing. And in case you, uh, because you guys are pretty new, so what legendary gems is good for you, okay? You will be asking this, you know? So do level 1. Keep doing until you get all your desired legendary gems, okay? So the next video I'm going to tell you is how to, what is Demon Hunter? Because this is a Demon Hunter build, okay? I will show you the best, I won't say the best, is I strongly recommend all these legendary gems for Demon Hunter. The rest, you know, it's, you know, maybe it's good, but this is most Demon Hunter you, Demon Hunter would you. So legendary gems, okay, for Demon Hunters, okay. First thing first, I always highly recommend do your historic level up. I mean, level up and your historic. So historic is this Demon Hunters 
we always die during the elements fire freeze and everything so as storage get to level 25 asap okay defensive another one is moten moten is a regeneration gem as you can see right now okay regen so try your best to get to level 25 these two are defensive you know you can equip two or you can equip one or you don't equip but i strongly recommend because you are pretty you know you are going up to be a big boy you know so get you know level up these two you know build so at least more toughness boon of the hot is as it says if you are doing bounties you know but i wouldn't recommend until you are really you know you finish up all your legendary gems and anyway. boon of the hot is the one that you know once you equip this on your bounties you know gold is it's 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 i i would say you don't need to worry about gold okay and then for damaging i would say bane of the trap b-o-t-t -T, you know that's what they uh, they all say this is you no know, the now you know one of the best ever okay so this is one of the damaging okay means because um sentries your sentries do slow do slow you uh, you know you burn them or what this damage will comes in so get 25 level 25 asap this is my for damaging legendary gems if you want level this level this b-o-t-t second uh, because we are a demon hunter zest is the one okay zest everything is range as you see so we always need to keep our range our distance from the enemy correct but not all okay you know so zest i also highly recommend you know you know this is just a rough idea on all of the because there's a lot of legendary gems you know but this is what most demon hunter use okay these two are good bane of the stricken and bane of the powerful i'll talk about the stricken first b-o-t-s that's what it says bane of the stricken okay this baby is good because single okay what does this what does this stricken do okay means no matter what you always get once you get a 25 level 25 um reef guardians and everything this is the best okay i repeat the best single damage you know especially reef guardians you know you know because every time you every time when you have an attack it will give you the one percent and one percent add up it always add up add up add up so for you know for tough enemies single target single target this is well one of the best now bane of the powerful there is a change you know right now everything is the same but because of 2.4.1 you now have a 15 percent reduced damage only from elites okay this is huge guys that's why i say this is good but this is like a timing base you know stricken and bane are bane of the powerful b-o-t-p you know it, it's an argument this is very good for enemies you know all the trash all the trash monsters and everything b-o-t-p would really shine you know but stricken is on single means like for rift guardians you know elites monster you know so you have to understand these two works for the damaging legendary gems as i say it's bane of the powerful is not to be overlooked you know right now as i say this this two baby okay and then support swiftness um i seldom use this on a demon hunter but you have to understand cooldown cooldown reduction is also plays a big part one thing good about this it's um because you just need to get to rank 50 level 50 you know to oh sorry sorry, sorry. they change it used sorry 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 my bad my bad okay my bad now it does not uh, try and level as much okay take out it's used to be the best okay it used to be the best for demand but now it changed right now the only thing that you can use take out reef is you are with strife demon hunter skill strife because that's a channeling skill you know that's a channel skill but it's still good it's still good but if you don't use strife like m6 m6 i i don't use strife you know but if you do i don't know no. so you use take out you know so these are all of the gems that you will be using Okay, mostly for the demon hunter so at least you have a gauge you know because when all of the le all of the legendary gems you know start to come in you do not know what you want you know this and that so i highly explain all these gems so you make a gauge but you know skills wise and everything for m6 build i will make another video solely on that but this is just a video on how to get to here you know how are you getting to this stage and all the progression so make up all the way to t6 and always remember once you have your full you know your full m6 you know jump to t6 immediate uh 
go ahead trust me you won't die that easily because t6 because you're you can now damage you know but skills wise and everything as i say is go free and easy you know go free and easy so greater risk then you slowly progress but that's one thing you will always have to take note you know slowly progress your greater risk you know once you found your desire legendary gems right start from tormen one first you know and for me i like to do 100 percent. means i will always get 100 percent. what do i mean by 100 percent? so if you are right now your legendary gems is zero okay i will do like a level 15 or level 16 you know so every time i got the three upgrades it's always 100 percent. it's always 10 levels means if my legendary gem is zero i want it to be level three right 100 percent. you need to do at least a 13 you know a level 13 g reef you know then slowly progress from there slowly progress because when you do greater risk right your blood shards will be much more and it's depends on the level of the greater risk too there should be at least one you know at least i think i think i do not know how low is your greater risk you know i i really don't know how low are you going to do your greater risk you know if level 10 you might not even get a legends but level 25 you should get at least one you know or level 22 i think 22 you should get at least one somewhere in between there it's rng guys i don't have a figure for that you know so slowly progress and everything and then build your demon hunter from there you know and then remember um at the beginning if you need resistant stones you know you need to equip and everything then you slowly build because everything is you know i'm not gonna bullshit you guys as i say what skills what skills these skills that skills. it won't work for you because if i'm using an m6 and i would tell you because you are a paragon one you know and you don't even have one m6 so what skills you can't follow my skills so you have to go free and easy you know go free and easy whatever skills work best for you you know and things that it can make you survive or you like that skills go ahead and try different skills because this is the time where you are going to shine you know you, you are shining to be a demon hunter you're trying to be a veteran so you know this is how i do it you know um, two years ago you know three years ago or what i can remember this is how i built my demon hunter so i roughly know what other skills are you know as i say as i do mention before if i were to throw you all of the m6 give it to you right now at a level one oh yeah good and everything you will not have the basics as well what am i talking and especially you're playing hardcore you know you would just die and what the hell you're just in tournament one and you just died how can it be it's because you you don't even have the basics you know but if you do this step by step you know you you are a you know you are oh you know this is good this is bad this is good this is bad and then after when you finally farm your m6 you know you are you will know okay so this is what i want this is what i want okay this is okay then maybe you know halfway down the road you realize you don't want to do m6 i want a nets nets you know uh, n6 uh, nutella sets is much better uh game style for me you know so that's all i can say guys you know as i say it's farming and everything and everything so i hope this uh tutorial you know helps you if you want to build up your demon hunter yeah and i wish you luck guys seriously wish you luck on your journey to diablo as i says do what i want to do if you want to hack you want to use those hack or mods items um i don't think you even need to see this video you know you don't need to or if you want to do go ahead you know this game is yours play whatever you want to play but you want to play legit or you want to play half legit or you want to play non-legit nobody cares okay nobody cares you know so yep i think that's it so if hopefully i don't miss out anything you know because it's, it's been a long time since i start a level one okay you have to understand you know but so these are the steps and everything so i hope this guy helps you and everything and most important thing good luck in your journey peace man and cheers